all right so this video is going to be a little bit different we're going back to reddit since 1.2 is basically over i'm here to let you guys know that there is another kuro bug that we all love kuro bugs right so <laughs> you guys can see from the meme right here apparently there's another kuro bug where you can actually change the files of the launcher the first thing I saw here was this blue archive one. And I was like, what the fuck is this? But yeah, apparently it's just able to change the files in the game and able to put other games in it. And you can also put different wallpapers or different like animations or cinematics. But you can literally play the game inside the fucking launcher. Now, I believe... I believe you can just open up the execution without actually having to oh you know you probably still have to log in and everything but basically it makes an alternate window with inside the launcher see this is why we need content on withering waves because people will literally do anything else but not play withering waves they will find a way or something in the game where it's like damn okay let's take a look at this <laughs> let me see if i can do this you ever think that i could actually play the game inside the launcher let's try it like no bro no <laughs> but if you guys want to um uh, i believe there's other there's guides on it you guys can look up how to do that <laughs> another thing that happened is that weathering waves actually won best audiovisual performance award from the mobile game rewards now, I actually wasn't expecting this because I believe they weren't advertised for the Game Awards. That happened, I believe, yesterday. Um, but there was another... Um, because all I saw was Mobile Game of the Year. And Within Waves was actually not nominated for Mobile Game of the Year. Which I kind of understand because everyone really had a shitty experience. Not everyone. But I think majority of people had a shitty experience. When it came to Wuwa on their mobile phone. Now, people are saying that maybe a free temple. I would hope so. Um, people are like, oh, we're gonna get Shang Liao's weapon for free. Absolutely not. Let's see here. Oh yeah, and this one. <laughs> and honestly, I was just tabbing all of these. I'm like, maybe it'll be funny or not. So yeah. The best mobile game for 2024 was actually Monopoly Go. And it was so funny seeing a lot of people because they always expect the mobile game rewards like the best mobile game to be a gacha game like always right and actually Honkai Star Rail and Wooden Ways was actually not on there now Honkai Star Rail I was actually surprised because they're usually involved in best mobile game because of the story I'm not too sure how that went down unless people just didn't like the last story updates majority of them <laughs> but this is the, the i'm pretty sure this is the only time kuro and hoyo is actually gonna be in the same commitment right now because yeah so monopoly go is like a it's like a like it's like a gotcha game mechanic but worse <laughs> it's like true gambling like people will like pay like 500 dollars just for like an exclusive item or something like that like it's actually crazy so people invest so much time into that and yeah instead of it actually being in the game of the year honorable mention is star wars hunters and withering waves but you know Withering Waves still won something at the end of the day right they still won the uh best audio visual so that's pretty cool um at least they won in that aspect Metal Claps buckle on male rovers back says authorized personnel only in English upside down. So that means you have to flip the back to even read this. <laughs> Wave playlist behavior. Actually true. Like this, this is the shit that I'm talking about. We need content, Kuro, because we cannot have people living their lives like this. Alright, and then RTX support for Wuwa announced. So I did actually see this video linked in my, um, not my Discord, but the leak uh, Discord for Withering Waves. Actually, I think I can actually pull up the YouTube video. The issue is that the YouTube video is listed. 
So actually, let me pull that up instead because, sorry for the blackout, because that is actually in 720p and it looks fucking awful. So let's do 1080p, right, at least. That's the most we can get out of this, so let's see what it looks like. I can already tell it looks like more like texturing and a little bit vibrant than it is before. Now, me personally, I don't play with the brightness on, but I know what it, I remember what it looks like if you did have brightness on one time in my life. So this one's off. This one's on. The texture isn't crazy, but you can definitely see it if you like. I guess it kind of depends on your monitor too. I wonder how this is actually oh shit we got reflections finally i wonder how this is actually going to look like for people like me that play with the brightness off because i'm more of like a person that wanted to play wuthering waves in more like an apocalyptic setting so i don't really enjoy all the really really bright colors but i think these graphical upgrades with the darkness low, not darkness, <laughs> the brightness low, we're actually might be kind of cool, actually. Also, I kind of love the reflections now. So remember, you know, RTX isn't for everyone. It's only if you have like a suitable graphic cards for it. And obviously if you have like a 10 series graphic card, probably should not even do RT RTX. I'm not even sure if that would even be available for a 10 to graphic card. God, I forgot how weird Jue moves. But yeah, RTX is not really like for everyone. It's more like if you just care about like the reflections and stuff like that. Some people don't even like how the water even looks. It looks like too clear. Too clear. We need better optimization. RTX is useless. You can't even run the game natively. That is true. Like, I feel like... RTX is cool, but people came around 120 FPS on their 40 cards, so like who really cares, right? So quality of life and idea for getting more polls, more thoughts, I'll write them down in the comments. So yeah, I feel like everyone has been saying this since the start of the game. This is really nothing new. Um one lustrous tide for ascension, that's definitely not happening. Um, it will probably be like every other gacha game, if anything, just three of them. The one limited is actually kind of crazy. I don't think they would ever do something like that. Pretty sure it's just going to be standard pulls for the most part. Which I don't really don't even mind, to be honest. My biggest regret in Withering Waves, giving on Yinlin's weapon. Because I'm going to save me forever until a rerun banner arrives. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I just did an account review actually yesterday and it's a casual player but i think they understand now like weapons like string master or even like virgin summit those are universal weapons you could use for a really really long time i mean string master can be used on jeshi or yinlin um verdant summit if you really had to can be used on calcharo jinsi Gion. And other characters to come but crit rate main stat crit damage main stats i've been saying it's the cbt2 they're really really important because free to play doesn't really have that many options <laughs> the fuck this is candy guy <laughs> bro holy shit it's actually insane though like my first couple runs i didn't have that many issues with the candy guy so i didn't really know what people were talking about but when i was playing on other people's accounts yeah that motherfucker kept running away. Actually, didn't even know this character existed because I just skipped the story, but she does look fucking hot as fuck. Like the fire waves. Bro, I don't... Bro, and now Subaki isn't even gonna be a, um, a pistol user. I don't even know when we're gonna get a next pistol user, if I'm being honest. It might be a really, really long time until we get another pistol user. Because Subaki is just going to be a sword user. Camilla, I don't even know what the fuck she's going to be. She's definitely not going to be a pistol user. She might be another sword user. It might be a long time till we get a pistol user. It's actually kind of crazy. Unless they make an alto V2. And get content so easy. My endgame account. 
It's funny because this is true and not true for some people. I know some people that like level 80 standard weapon and not the greatest echo stats and they still do perfectly fine all clearing so but I get the meme though. Yet. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. I just want to go over like some reddit shit especially this fucking Kurel launcher bug because it's kind of fucking wild so if you guys actually want to do this go ahead i'm pretty sure you don't get banned for this i mean it's just a fucking launcher at the end of the day hopefully we get a compensation for it and honestly even though people don't really go outside i really don't mind this because at the end of the day we probably will get a compensation on it because people just be doing shit thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace